Hi everybody, I get a lot of questions as the webmaster about how to find stuff for the calendar. Where is the calendar? Why can't I find anything with sports on the calendar? That kind of stuff. Um, so I thought I'd make this quick screencast to sort of clean up some of those ideas. We actually have a very powerful calendar, it's just not instantly apparent how to use it. So let's take a look at the steps that we can go through to get that stuff done. First is finding the calendar itself. You've got two ways to get into it, two quick ways. There's the quick links here, calendar, and then this three lines here, you can go to calendar. Either one will get you there, doesn't matter which one you click on, and that opens a new tab. And then you've got this calendar. Now, right now we're looking at the master calendar that has literally everything on it. And this is generally where people kind of crash because they say, oh, I can't dig through all this. Plus, it looks like it's only sports because we have a lot of different sports teams and that sort of bogs everything down. So if you wanted just a quick kind of uh, scan through, here's the easiest way to do that. You go up here to the calendar type and you click on that and then you can choose whether you want academics, athletics, clubs and activities, or fine arts, or some combination of them. So let's say we just want fine arts. You check it off and you hit view. And then we have nothing scheduled right now on the calendar for fine arts for the month of January. If you want to go to February and see what we've got for that. So fine arts probably hasn't updated in a while. Ah, Saturday the 4th. There's a variety show. So 4th of March variety show. So you've got that. Um, if you want to say like, okay, actually, I really want just academic stuff. We can bring that up. View. Then suddenly we have like non-attendance day. So Kashmir Pulaski day. Oh, that's good to know when that is. So we're at Wednesday. Progress reports are on Thursday. You can find your final exams this way. Um, so that's kind of a nice way. If you don't mind scanning a little bit, it trims you down real fast. Now the other way you can go about it is with this advanced view report, which is down here, which probably most people don't want to click on because it sounds kind of terrifying because it's an advanced view, but it's actually really not that scary. So you bring that up, and that which simply means that you can uh, clarify your filters more. So here's, like you can organize, just say I want things that show up in the foods room, and click on that and you can make a calendar for that. Or um, Within this helps. So let's say calendar type. We only want academic information. And what that'll do is it'll filter out the stuff from this list here. So now we've only got, these are all the things that have been tagged in the calendar anywhere. So let's say you can command click on a Mac or control click to select multiple things. Here are the things that I care about um, classes resume, final exams, graduation, institute days. No late start, non attendance days, progress reports. And you pick those off, and then you check out to see what kind of range of time you want to uh, you want to look for. So I'm just going to say for this school year, this school year, next school year, last school year, and you generate the report. And this is a little bit bigger than my window, but you see, you can see that it's got in a list form, all these kind of things. Progress reports, Thursday, September 8th, October 6th, October 7th is non attendance day. Um, we've got that list going right through, through there. So you can create that, your own personalized calendar with only the stuff that you care about. Um, if you look in this little corner, here's where things get really cool. If you hit the subscribe, then it gives you directions for how to get that calendar uh, pushed out to your phone through Google or Outlook or iCal. Um, so if you're uh, a Microsoft person, you would do it through Outlook. If you're an Apple person, iCal. If you're a Google person, you do it through Google. And then your calendar app will actually have all those dates plugged right into it. So you get alerts and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's awesome. It's super easy. Um, it's worth doing. So I hope that helps you find the things in the calendar a little bit better. Um, you can always shoot me an email um, at uh, samuel.worden at chsd117.org. I'm an English teacher here and, and also the webmaster. If you get in any trouble, we'll help you out. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.